In the previous section, we shared latest data between multiple FPGA loops and VIs using memory items. By the end of this module, you will be able to share latest data between multiple FPGA loops and VIs using register items. So another method we can use to share latest data is register items. So register items are very similar to memory items, and we'll talk about a couple of the differences in this section. The similarities, uh, just like memory items, register items are only going to share the most recent data. And also like memory items, uh, you can have target scope register items and VI defined register items. So the way that you would create these is going to be very similar to what you did with memory items. So if you look at the target scoped side, so on the left hand side, the way that you would create one of those is you would right click your FPGA project, go to new, and then choose register, and then you would go through a configuration window to, to configure that. And then again, on the right hand side, for a VI defined one, uh, if you only want that register to be able to be accessed within one VI, you can create it uh, in a similar way. Uh, you would go to the programming palette and then the data storage and transfer palette, and then you would select VI defined register instead. Okay, so very similar so far to memory items. So again, similar to memory items, with a register item, if you're looking at the configuration window, you can initialize its value. So notice that uh, for our register item, uh, you, there's not a, a whole block of elements that you can store inside a register item. So with the memory item, remember you can store uh, s several addresses of different, um, different values. In this case, a register item is only going to store one value. So uh, you can go to the properties window here, and if you select the initial, if you select the initial value category on the right-hand side, you'll see that you can either manually specify the initial value in that box over there, or you can also use a initialization VI that you create to um, do some custom initialization for that initial value. So here are a couple differences um, between register items and memory items. Register items access or store data in the registers of the FPGA. Okay, so it's a different implementation in the hardware. Register items do not consume block memory, which is the most limited type of FPGA resource. Also, Register items only share one element, and um, that's different from memory items. Like I said earlier, a memory item can share a block of elements. With a register item, you can only share one element. And the other difference is, with a register item, you can share data across multiple clock domains safely. Okay, so if you're trying to go between two uh, single cycle time loops that are running at different clocks, uh, for example, you can share data between those two safely using a register item. Now you can share latest data between multiple FPGA loops and VIs using register items. Next, we will avoid race conditions when sharing latest data.